All right, for this last guy, it's going to be a little more challenging. We're going to add a little bit of sunsetness into it. Again, I'm not going to try to copy these clouds exactly. I'm just kind of showing you an example of what we're going to do. Kind of the sun is setting, so it puts this glow on the clouds, a little bit of yellowishness, a little bit of orangishness. I'm not going to worry about the orange so much. But uh, the yellow that we have is pretty bright, so I added a touch of alizarin. Uh, crimson to it just to make it a little bit more orange you could also even maybe use a touch of the burnt um, sienna but anyway we're going to start again by wetting our paper doing all these wet and wet get our nice soft edges my paper wet down real good and again you want to start to wet it get it nice and wet so that water soaks in and keeps it wet longer. You just might have to let it sit a little bit. Mix your paints or get your paints ready to go and let it sit a little bit so that um, those uh, it soaks into the fibers but yet when you do your blue it doesn't go um, too far. Okay. So I'm kind of letting this sit in a little bit. You know what, I'm waiting. I think I'll mix up my uh, gray. Get some blue over here. Oh, got a little yellow in there. Grab some burnt umber. All right. It's pretty intense, but I could always water it down when I get ready to um, apply it. And I'll add a touch of crimson to it. Yeah, that might add some interesting flare. Oop, a bit too much blue. But that's all right. Now it's kind of bluish, blue violet. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Well, all right. My paper's pretty soaked in. Almost starting to dry here now. Rinse out my brush. Grab my blue. Start with my blue up at the top. I'll work my way down. And then I'm going to start to use the side of my brush. And... Let's see, I'll put a little, kind of form this into two clouds, one over here maybe. Okay. And then I think I'm going to go with that right there, leave that. And now what I'm going to start to do is take some of my yellow and start to put the yellow in down here. As it kind of goes up in, push it up a little bit, but let it soften as it kind of goes up. It's, the yellow is going to be more intense, obviously, near the bottom. And then I'm going to take that yellow, and I'm actually going to kind of spread it right out as it goes down into the sunset. Maybe I'll take a little bit more right in here and kind of do a graded wash sort of working my way down. I'm going to scumble a little bit so it's not so streaky. Just kind of fade that right out into the horizon. Okay. Rinse out my brush. Now maybe I'll come in and sort of lift out tops of my clouds a little bit. Rinse my brush, dry it off, pull out some clouds up here, and maybe while it's still wet, maybe I can even add some more shape to some of my clouds a little bit. 
right in here get those to kind of fade out kind of define that's another thing that I didn't do earlier um, I kind of missed an opportunity to sort of uh, define some edges you get that that point where it really is starting to dry get rid of some excess paint there now and kind of soften that edge okay break this up a little bit more there we go all right okay so now I can start to add in some of the bottoms of these clouds here now. Break this up a little bit into the distance. Okay, and I start out, this is a little bit darker here, and then I use up a little of my paint, so maybe I'll start to push some up into here and it's starting to dry on me so I rinse out my brush soften that edge a little bit not too much water soften that edge soften that edge all right come back in maybe along the bottoms just go a tad darker reinforce some of that And then down in here, just get some lights, lighter grays up in here, perhaps a little bit. Push some of these around. Pull out some down in here, perhaps a little bit. Soften those there a little bit. Getting kind of hard edged. All right. Oop. All right. Now I'm going to put a few kind of streaks in here for those lower lying clouds. And maybe a couple of dots here and there because we have like dark clouds against the sunset. Okay, down in some of these areas. So we'll just little bits of that here and there. Kind of represent some of those darker clouds. Whoops. I looked carried away there. It's all right. And then I just think I'll leave it there like that. Down here, I'll, wanna, I'll paint like landscape down in here. Gonna get a little cauliflower effect right here. Maybe I'll lift some of that, soften some of that. Right in here. I almost wish I could have got a little orange in there. Maybe I can take a little yellow with my orange and throw a little orange in here for some color. Whoop! Oh my gosh, somehow I got blue on my Got to lift that out. There we go. We just got a little bit of orange in there. Just for some added color on the sunset. I'm just going to blend that out. Distant clouds. All right. 
There we go. I'm playing around with it too much. I'm just going to leave it there. We'll let it dry. We'll paint in our little landscape. We'll be good to go. So once you throw a horizon line, some land in there, kind of puts it in context, sets it off, and you know, make, has it make more a little bit more sense for you. 